hi everyone in today's video i am going to discuss about the distinction between magma and lava all is about the location and the behavior of the compound okay let's start okay molten rock below the earth surface is magma but molten rock flowing on the earth surface is lava okay magma contains suspended crystals volatiles along with gas bubbles but in case of the lava it is a semi solid material which is burning and hot substance in case of magma it produces plutonic hyperbasalt rocks which are intrusive igneous rocks but in case of lava we are getting volcanic rocks which are extrusive igneous rocks okay in case of magma it undergoes slow cooling rate the rate is very slow okay but in case of lava it cools rapidly quickly which produces quench crystallization it solidifies very rapidly there is no time for getting new crystals to develop it shows glassy appearance oxidized in nature like magma which is hotter than the lava but lava is less hotter than the magma magma quietly not absorbed easily on the surface of the earth which therefore it is not experimented directly but in case of lava we can directly collect the sample from the volcano nearby surfaces directly observe it and we also infer from this process of the experimentation okay in case of magma the term originated in ancient greek but magma the term comes from the italian word that means a thick pasty substance it is a pasty substance which is how molten rock behave within earth okay within the earth surface but in case of the lava lava is another italian word which means to slide slide means what to see this is the surface of the earth this is the magma chamber when magma comes out from the magma chamber due to the buoyancy force okay in this this is the crater okay this is lava inside the surface it is called magma when it comes out it is called lava and in this way it slides down okay okay next point pressure is significantly high okay so all magmas contains dissolved gases but in this case lava as pressure is reduced dissolved gases just escaped out okay um let's uh, understand this with a simple analogy like uh, just imagine uh, a cloth split bottle okay inside it uh, liquids are there under some pressure but when you open uh, like you can observe no bubbles there okay but in uh, in case of lava uh, when you shake that bottle what uh, very soon you will be getting uh, number of bubbles those are oozing out uh, from the sprite bottle rapidly exactly like this happens with the lava when it comes out from the surface okay very rapidly with high amount of dissolved gases though pressure is released those gases are oozing out from the cracks those are producing small small uh, like uh, pore spaces like vesicles okay okay 
What is the temperature of the magma? It is around 1300 to 2400 degrees Fahrenheit scale. In case of lava, it is relatively lower that is 1300 to 2200 degree Fahrenheit. In case of magma, well developed crystal form with large size. Okay, like its size is large and its sides are well developed. Okay, but in case of the lava, we are not getting any kind of um, like we are getting glassy appearance, not well developed, comparatively smaller crystal developed, which shows glassy appearance. Okay. In case of magma, less nucleation rate and high growth rate we found. Why? Because those rocks are formed below the surface of the earth. Those are getting enough time to crystallize. Okay. Like in the surface of earth, as we know, due to the temperature rise, when the temperature rises, uh, the gases are more uh, free to move. Okay, so those are producing high diffusion rate. High diffusion rate means what? Uh, if you are spreading one kind of uh, perfume here, uh, it goes well around the air. Okay, so it produces high growth rate. High, you have to remember one thing, high diffusion rate at high temperature, which produces high growth of the and less nucleation. Nucleation means what? There is your one nucleus and uske surrounding mein achche se chote chote crystal se grow honge. To uska growth high rahega par nucleation kam rahega. Ye agar ek rock ho gaya to isme thoda sa nucleus rahega par iska growth achche se hoga kyunki ye bohot uh, depth mein hai Depth में है इसलिए उसका temperature भी high रहेगा, उसका diffusion rate भी high रहेगा, उसका growth भी अच्छा होगा। पर in case of lava क्या होगा? Lava uh, जो surface condition में crystallize हो रहा है, उसमें बहुत सारे छोटे-छोटे रहेंगे nucleus, बहुत सारे nucleus रहेंगे, पर उनको grow करने के लिए time नहीं मिलेगा। तो those are uh, उसका growth नहीं हो पाएगा। तो उसका ग्रोथ बहुत कम होगा, लेस ग्रोथ, ओके? But in case of magma, it is not associated with the volcanoes as it is found below the earth's surface. In case of lava, always it is associated with the volcano, ओके? In case of magma, we are getting three different forms like basaltic, andesitic and rhyolitic. But in case of lava, we are getting a structure, pa hoi hoi structure and pillow lava structure. Okay. Uh, in case of magma, we found gases. Those are soluble under pressure. In case of magma. Okay. Uh, like gases um, like H2O, carbon dioxide, SO2, ammonia, methane, helium, argon, etc. Okay. But in case of lava, this, uh, in surface condition, those are just escaped out from the lava. Okay? Like, you have to remember just one thing, like magma minus volatiles, which gives rise to the lava. You remember the analogy of, the, of that uh, close sprite bottle? Exactly? Okay. Let's move on. But in case of the hyperbasalar plutonic rocks, we do not find such small openings. Okay? As those openings are found due to the exalving, uh, uh, exalve out of the gases. Like such gases are oozing out from the uh, rock surface. As it solidifies, those gases extensively come out from the surface. And those produces small, small vesicles, small, small openings. Those are the characteristic features of volcanic rocks, extrusive rocks. Exactly. Okay. Thank you.